Myanmar, a country and a people pitied and supported for their cries of freedom from military rule. Finally, things are changing. President Thein Sein has taken Myanmar on the road to democratic reform. How will he manage the transition? Find out in his first ever exclusive television interview with an international broadcaster. The interview with Thein Sein. Tainsane was born in a small village in what is now Napudao Township in the Irrawaddy Delta. His parents were landless and his father worked at the river jetty, carrying cargo and weaving bamboo mats. From these humble beginnings came the pragmatic and forward-looking man I interviewed, the man who's now trying to bring Myanmar in from the cold, reforming the nation's politics, opening the economy, and trying to manage the many forces that will try to resist and distort the pathway to greater openness and maybe democracy. You've d been described as Myanmar's reformist president. How do you see yourself? Is this an accurate depiction? Mm လူအလားတယ်တောင်းဆိုလားတယ်နောက်တစ်ကစီးပွားရီရပြုပြင်ပြောင်းလဲမှုတွေကိုလည်းသူတို့ဝန်ကန်လူလူအလားတယ်တော
ไอ้สาเลยเนาะดาเรจันทร์รู้กนกะโลซ้อมแยกเหมือนสุดๆดีรู้จันทร์รู้ว่าซ้อมพี่อะไรบ่แหละซ้อมพี่อะไรก็
and it is simply by their sheer weight of numbers that they too can prove to be very lucrative. But as the world's businessmen rush into Myanmar, that will present a whole series of issues the nation has never before had to deal with. Let's uh, talk about development, economic development. Myanmar, of course, has a wealth of natural resources. And uh, as you mentioned, there has been a note of caution sounded about launching headlong into uh, extractive industries such as gas and mineral excavation and not enough on uh, value-added industrial production. What are your thoughts on this and what are the key ministries that you are placing in emphasis on? <laughs> ဒီအနာဂတ်မှာကျွန်တော်တို့ငွေကြေးကျွန်တော်တို့ပြဿနာကြောင့်နောက်ငွေကြေးအချိန်နေမကောင်းသေးကြောင့်ဒီလိုရ
Yet another issue Tain Sein will need to navigate if his reforms are to be successful. It was only in 2007 that the world was despairing for the people of Myanmar as protests and demonstrations were being brutally suppressed. Yet away from the eyes of the world, ongoing internal ethnic fractures could prove to be an even greater destabilizing threat to a country in the midst of political and economic flux. Just one more force that needs to be managed to complete the journey along the less traveled road to full democratic reform. How big of a priority is it for your government um, to make sure that ethnic conflicts don't hold back uh, the progress you're currently making? Democracy <laughs> ตีนญิงบุตรก็ประมาณอีจีบาเลยเนาะเราနိုင်ငံရေးตีนญิงบุตรด้วยဆိုတာ အဲ့ဒီဖွဲ့ရဲ့ကျွန်တော်လွတ်လိုက်စာရတယ်ကျွန်တော်ဒါဖြစ်ပေါ်လာတဲ့အဖွဲ့တွေရှိပါတယ်
It was most insightful that in his poem, The Road Not Taken, Robert Frost began the final stanza with the line, I shall be telling this with a sigh, before, two lines later, writing the better known phrase, two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less traveled by. Because such a journey along a new road is not an easy undertaking, and that's the journey Tain Sane has indeed embarked upon. There will be many pitfalls, and very few people who have traveled that road will be able to help him. But if successful, he will no doubt agree with Frost's final line that having taken the road less traveled by, that has made all the difference.